Right, here we have the JMW uh, Eurofighter Typhoon. Um, briefly, I'm going to give you a quick explanation of what I class as my preferred setup on this uh, model. I've been flying it now um, probably 10, 10 to 15 times now and have uh, adopted different uh, features on the plane, but uh, in the end, this is what I have uh, decided to go with. Basically, as quickly in the in the battery department, because of the C of G uh, on my test glide, uh, it, it glided really well. So I predicted the C of G, and believe me, when that uh, when I balanced it on the C of G and flew it like that, it was flying like upright. So it was completely impossible. So I've had to make some mods, uh, and one of be one of which being is to bring the battery to the front area instead of behind, where I was originally gonna store it now uh, what I've done here is I've, I've raised the floor uh, inside there and I've uh, just added this little area here to keep the the cable away from the servo so it doesn't interfere with your uh, control of your canards um, so basically from that uh, I've tried the 7x4 prop and to be honest I still quite like the 6x4 just personal preference I think on that one but uh, that's what I've decided to go with um, Still stand, uh, standard movements in some respects, uh, elevons, ailerons, um, what I've added to the to the yaw on the rudder um, to get it to your right is uh, I've added a little bit of opposite aileron if you can see that. I think that's roughly 35% on the mix. Uh, that just keeps the plane level in the air when you try and uh, yaw the plane around but it works really well with the the opposite aileron movement otherwise it does want to pitch down now the the front of actually the canards are quite a level uh, angle um, on when I flick the switch for the canards they raise up slightly like that this is like uh, in theory my spoiler ons to try and get a, a higher angle of attack a bit of high alpha um, and also when you flick that switch you do get a bit of pitch authority control now this is what I'm finding works well at the minute now other people might prefer different ways of mixing this um, but at the moment this is what I like uh, it does loops really well like this it does add a bit more authority for loops um, but the plane does actually loop generally quite well anyway um, just want to point out that this is still the prototype build this is uh, the one and only that I have built and just want to say that uh, the plane has really held up well. Like I said, I've probably had uh, 10 to 15 flights and no damage really at all to talk about. It, to, to launch, I basically hold it by the belly. Um, if you can see that there. And I hand launch it like so, uh, which works really well because uh, the plane actually glides off straight and even. Um, and then also landing, landing is a dream. Uh, you can just cut the power and glide it in and it'll just drop on its belly with no damage especially if you're in a field as well a uh, grassy field that's probably half the reason why this plane is still in such good condition now um, other things regarding the setup I've set up uh, about 40% expos on uh, the majority of the controls ailerons, elevator and even the rudder so um, that is basically the preferred setup I'm using at the moment now I hope you enjoy this plane, it flies great, so it's really worth giving it a whirl and see what you think. Thanks.